Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chetali Bag, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe at Seminar on Sustainable Aviation Biofuel for Civil and Military Transport Aircraft. And with me, I have Mr. Paul Filgenstern, Director, Product Development and Marketing, Pratt & Whitney from East Hartwood, USA. Welcome, Paul. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. We quickly jump to the seminar today. And as I can see, it is you're going to give a presentation on design and development of new aero engines to reduce the carbon footprints. So can we talk more about it? What is, what is new coming up with Pratt & Whitney about that? Yes, yeah, so today I'll talk about our, our overall strategy and our roadmap for sustainability across the corporation. It starts with advanced technology and development. So the first thing that started for us was our gear turbofan engine that we released in the service in 2016. Uh, over 13 million hours and dramatically reduces the amount of fuel and carbon that the engine produces. The good news is that we delivered over 200 of those airplanes to India, flying primarily on GO and, and Indigo, and they reduced their footprint by more than 2 million metric tons of carbon and uh, more engines to come into the future. And then uh, building on top of the current gear turbofan, in 2023 we will release our next version called the GTF Advantage that will produce more power, more thrust, lower fuel, lower CO2, and will continue to be the greenest and cleanest engine in the industry today. Uh, now, this sustainable aviation, biofuel, these things are like anything right now. And after the, uh, the Russian-Ukraine war, more emphasis has been laid on the biofuels so that it's less import of the crude oil and these kind of things. So Pratt & Whitney has always been trying to make more use of it. How more you see yourself expanding in the next few years with this? Uh, from a biofuel perspective, we've done a lot of testing, both at our smaller engine division, Pratt Whitney Canada, and on the Pratt Whitney division with the GTF. So we are happy to say that 50% biofuel is already certified and certified in our engines. And we did do some specific demonstrator tests this year on our Advantage engine with 100% certifiable SAF fuels. And we also did a very unique demonstrator with the Embraer product, the E2, where the, air, the engine airplane combination did 100% SAF flight testing. Mm -hmm. The news was great. At the, end of the, at the end of the test, we did all the inspections. We looked at all the data. It was invisible to the engine. The engine doesn't care if you put in today's fuel or you put in 100% SAF. It's absolutely invisible. And so we're 100% confident that, that SAF is the way forward for all our products. If you talk about the Indian market, how will you consider the Indian market for this kind of fuel and this change? Well, there's, there's clearly a lot of passion in India around sustainability. That's why we're here today. I, I haven't seen a conference like this uh, ever in a really well-rounded group of people that are really dedicated to bring SAF to the industry. And so even other people were already talking about a gear turbofan engine. Uh, they know it's 100% SAF capable. So I think it'll be a perfect match in the future and, and going forward with the Indi India aviation. And how helpful has been the Indian government for this to you guys? Well, extremely supportive. They're, they're really, really supportive. They've adopted all the rules and, and, and suggestions from that come out of ICAO. The Corsia Convention also has instituted some requirements that they're really going forward with. And it was really encouraging to see today that the, the, the organization in India, they not only want to produce biofuels for the India operation, they want to produce biofuels to export it elsewhere. So they see themselves as leaders. If they can t take care of their industry and support the rest of the world, they'll have a world-class situation. That is great. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks so much for your time. You're it welcome. was great speaking to you. Great Thank to you. Here.